Hey bass lovers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to demo the acoustic B100C bass combo amp. This amp has so many different features and sounds that you can get out of it. It has built-in overdrive. It has so many different ways that you can record it. So I'm gonna go through all those features and functions and we're gonna hear a bunch of different tones. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. This amp is part of the Acoustic C-Series combo amps. So there are different sizes available. There's a 25 watt, 50 watt, the 100 watt, which I'm reviewing in this video. There's also a 300 watt and a 600 watt. So you can go to their website and find out all the specs on each of those amps. I love this tilted cab because you can use it as like a monitor slash a bass amp. I mean, because then, you know, you can hear it come straight at your face. I love that. If you all recall, Jaco Pastorius played acoustic amps. So, you know, special place in my heart. And that's why I decided to pull out the Fender Jazz. If you love Jaco, just give a shout out. Just put in the in the comments section, Jaco. The way I'm going to do this review is I'm going to jam a little bit, everything on flat, and then I'm going to change the knobs a little bit. I'll explain everything I'm doing while I'm doing it. The way it's set up is that I have it mic'd in front with an MXL 603S, and I also have a direct out in the back. I'm also using the Sterling mic, which I want to show you guys how cool this freaking mic is. It's a ST155. The price is completely right and it sounds so good. My last mic was like a $600 mic and this one sounds just as good, if not maybe a touch better. The shock mount that this mic comes with is so damn cool. Every time I have a mic, that is usually what breaks first. It always goes, like the rubber bands stretch out, some screw falls out that you can never find again. And this one is just made so well and it looks so super cool. Yeah, I know I should use a lavalier, but I just can't get with the program. This is the mic that I use for everything in my studio for vocals, you know, singing. I'll put down a link to it in the description box. So the first one we're gonna hear is everything flat. Okay, so that was everything flat. Okay, let's talk about the frequency notch. This allows you to manipulate the mid frequencies. You can turn it on or off by pressing this little button right next to it. So I just engaged it by pressing it in and now I'm just going to turn the knob to like 25%. Let's hear it. <laughs> change the frequency notch to about 50%. Gotta get used to where all these knobs are. I mean, they're all the same size, so it's it's like which is which. I feel like the volume knob should just be this gigantic knob that's just like So you know, you know, that's what you're usually going for. Just wanna turn that all the way up. By the way, all my knobs are up on the Fender Jazz. Okay, I'm taking the frequency notch to 75%. The overdrive, you just turn it on and off with this little button. I'm sure you heard that happen <laughs> just now, but I'm just going to kind of put it in the middle. through select settings because there's a lot of little manipulations that you can make like on the gain and all that kind of stuff so I'm leaving that to you guys to demo that yourselves but I'm just showing you some select sounds that I thought were really cool 
So my gain's at like 10 o'clock, like on a clock, uh, you know? Let's try the overdrive like way too high. Overdrive level everything up on like three o'clock. <laughs> Okay, so my final thoughts on this amp is there are so many tone options, which I love that. There's a lot of different recording options, which is really important to me. There are some really cool practice features because you've got your aux in and then you got your headphone jack. And then the built-in overdrive is just an added bonus. The tilt cab is super cool and it's an incredible price for all these features and it's super loud. You guys have not been able to really experience that because I'm basically going through a DAW and everything's direct and it's mic'd and it's not super loud, but I turned this puppy up and it is super loud. So you all tell me in the comments section if you've ever tried an acoustic amp. If you like these types of videos, give this a thumbs up so that I know what kind of videos that you like and I can do more of them. And also subscribe to my channel and check out my Patreon page because we have a monthly Google Hangout, which is super cool. And a bunch of bass players get together. We listen to different amps. We actually checked this one out on the last Google Hangout. So you get to kind of preview some of the gear that I'm going to be reviewing and you know, we just talk about whatever. It's actually super fun. That's my review on the acoustic amp. I hope you enjoyed it and had fun spending time with me here on my channel. Oh, oh really?